I started in guiding to spend time with my daughter. Uh, we have learned, we have grown together. We've learned some leadership skills. Uh, I'd say one thing I've learned a lot about with guiding was camping. I had never really camped a lot before. Now I'm, I still can't build a fire, but I'm trying. <laughs> but I can, uh, I can put up a tent now. It's one thing you learn a lot in guiding is that you're not alone. You have a whole team of people and you all work together. We're all trying to have the same goal and the goal is to provide great programming for our girls, for them to learn leadership skills and camping skills and how to work together with other people. Some of the skills that I've learned, other than the camping through guiding, is that I, um, my, I've grown more confident as a person. My people skills have grown, and that's helped me in my job because I work with people in my job. A few things that I would recommend for people who are interested in being a leader, um, just understand that the programs and the, all of those different badge components can seem really daunting, but always start with the girls first. Start with what they're interested in. And as a leader, you want to be open-minded because I think if you're trying to encourage girls to be that way, and if you're trying to encourage them to take risks, you need to be willing to show that side of yourself as well. Um, one of the things that I would recommend is at the beginning of the year, uh, when you first join your group, is ask them what they're interested in, what they'd like to see happen, one really big goal that they want to see happen. It might be a trip, it might be a, cre a crest that they want to earn, it might be a challenge that they want to complete. Um, and then, just as a leader, be comfortable with taking a little bit of the, the passenger seat and watching them soar and, and see what they can do with, with all those things and giving them different skills and use your own skills that you bring to the table because when you come into the program, you also have a lot of great ideas and skills that you can bring and teach them. So there's a few turnoffs that people might have um, if they're considering to be a leader. The first one is definitely time. Um, they're worried that there's going to be too many meetings or too many excursions or camping trips. This is again something that you want to talk about with your group. And you want to say, look, um, I'm going to dedicate X amount of time to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to do this for you. I won't necessarily be able to do this. Just laying out that expectation. Some groups meet bi-weekly. Some groups meet weekly. Some people, some groups you know, go camping maybe once or twice a year. Some choose to do it once every three months. It's completely up to you. The second thing is also just, well, I have no experience programming or doing anything. I don't know what Girl Guides is all about. That's actually a really common one. The program itself, there, is, there are a ton of resources out there to help you, uh, even right down to badges. It will tell you the different components that you need to cover, the different skills that you're trying to teach the girls. It even gives you ideas. Uh, this new program gives you different meetings that you can even have. There's meeting layouts, uh, if it really comes down to that. Anything extra, any of your own skills and whatever, you can add to that, change whatever you need. But those would definitely be the two things that people get nervous about when they're thinking about becoming a unit guider. Uh, a lot of people think that it's mandatory to have a child in the program. Um, both myself and my co-leader actually, we're both, we're both in university and then we're both in the education system, but we have no kids <laughs> in the program. Um, it's really open to anyone over the age of 18 who's willing to give a little bit of commitment and really want to make a difference for girls. They're there for you. I feel very connected and very supportive. My first year I had absolutely no idea what to do. I showed up and did some coloring and then my leaders were like, Hi, would you like to do this? Would you like to learn this? And I was like, yes, like I'm here to do something. I'm here to help. Like, what can I help you guys with? So I've learned how to fill up forms. I've learned how to talk to girls. I've been through training modules with girl guides. I've just finished the mental first aid. I've done first aid with them. So they provide different skills to help me in my personal life and then help the girls go on and be better in who they are. Well, I joined, I joined Girl Guides um, with my youngest in Sparks and I've alternated between my two children and I'm now a Pathfinder leader and I just, I look forward to the meeting I think more than my kids do going. I have a lot of fun just seeing what the kids are going to do, what we're going to talk about, um, talking to them one-on-one, -on -one, the games, seeing what they can do. I just, I find it really inter interesting um, interacting with kids. Time requirements, I find you can give a little, you can give a lot. It's entirely up to you. It 
Hey, if you're interested in being the Girl Guide leader, we'd love to meet you. We'd love to see you at our open house on Wednesday, July 18th at Girl Guide House on Dutch Village Road from 7 until 9 p.m.